chapter and study this word. I ask you to give us our understanding, Father, that we might grow, that we might understand what you're trying to teach us, that we can learn it and that we can make it a part of our lives. We ask your blessing on our Sunday school, our church, and in my name of Jesus, amen. 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 Song of Moses, our third topic is expressing thankfulness, expressing thankfulness. Our youth topic is expressing thankfulness. And our children's topic is give thanks with a grateful heart. So it's all dealing with being thankful. Amen. Our devotion reading is coming from Exodus uh, chapter 14, verses 21 through 31. So we want to look at that. Exodus 14, 21 through 31. Are y'all ready? And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord called the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea. Even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillars of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels that they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea. And the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared. And the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the water returned and covered the chariots. And all the hosts of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them, there remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea. And the waters were walled unto them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did unto the Egyptians. And the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. Amen. That's our devotional reading. We're going to come back to that a little bit. But uh, let me have the objective name from the quality and then the standard. All right, that's the uh, quarterly. Now give me the standard. All right. This is called the Song of Moses. Now, you know, I sometimes when I read these verses, I mean these Sunday school lessons, the first time or two, I really don't get it. And uh, this one was kind of scattered and broken. But uh do understand, you know, you, you get it after you get it a while. And, and the other topic is expressing thankfulness. Now, you go back to look at our devotional reading, and we all familiar with that, that story that's in our devotional reading of how they got the Red Sea and God opened it up and they crossed some dry land and all of the Egyptians got drowned and, and that mighty uh, 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 work that God did. And he said the last verse was they feared God and his leader Moses, his servant Moses. And so here, right after this event happened, everybody was in fear of God. But just like with us, it did not last. God did some great work. Everybody was you know, shouting about it and, and singing about it and all of that when they were on the other side. And, you know, Pharaoh's army got drowned and all that kind of stuff. And, 
and uh, and they they said they feared God at that time, but it wasn't too long after that that they reverted back, and they kept reverting back, and they kept forgetting. It looked like they kept forgetting what God had done, and and that's the thing. What this lesson is, is really trying to impress on us is the fact to remember what God had done. Don't don't forget where He brought you, what He brought you through, what He did for you. And that's one of the, the, the keys of this lesson, expressing thankfulness. Because these folks didn't, you know, they expressed thankfulness right that instant. But then, you know, it wasn't long before they were murmuring and complaining and saying you should have left us down there and all this kind of stuff. And uh, what now? <laughs> I don't know, you think about you we, we think about now how we are. When God God does something for us and we we rejoice in it and that, but then the next time when a when we run into something, we all forgot about what He did the last time, and we go back to this old oh, always oh, complaining why God let this happen to me kind of stuff, and and we ungrateful. That's what really what what Moses was trying to get these folks to see that they were ungrateful for all that God had done for them. So let's look at these verses. Uh, it's Deuteronomy 32. Now, our key verse is not in our lesson. So I'm going to go to it first, and then we'll come back. The key verse is, is verse 46, which is, uh, we're going to start with and end with it. I hope I can remember. Uh, yeah, 32 and 46 is our key verse. And 46 says, he said unto them, set your hearts unto all the words which I testify among you this day, which you shall command your children to observe to do, all the words of this law. Okay, that's what Moses told them. This is what you, 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 you set your hearts to it. You're going to do everything that the law says for you to do this day. Now, we know that that, unfortunately, that was not how these folks were built. But uh, that's what Moses did. Now, lesson begins at verse 3. And uh, it goes, I don't have my outline thing. What's the outline, first outline? Okay, it's verses what? I'm, which verses? Three through six, forgetting to remember. All right. Verse three, because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock, his work is perfect. For all his works are judgment, a God of truth and without inquiry. Just and right is he. That they that corrupt themselves, their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Do ye thus record the Lord, O oh foolish people and unwise? Is not he the father that had brought thee? Had he not made thee and established thee? Now, give me that name again. Forgetting to remember. And that's why I, uh, I was saying that. What Moses is saying to the people here that you done forgot. You done forgot what the Lord had done for you. Now, you go back to our uh, uh, response, not response, God, our devotional read. <laughs> our devotional read, we talked about breaking up through the Red Sea. And so Moses said, you don't forget. You don't forget what the Lord had done for you. See, they forgot the fact that they were slaves in Egypt. They were under every taskmaster. God brought them out of that. God then took care of them all this time. And they don't forget that. Yeah. Yes, this now this new Moses is Moses' time is up. Uh -huh. uh, Joshua has already been established as the leader. Yeah, uh, this, this well. Now remember the ones over twenty, the ones over twenty were the ones that did. So the ones under that, they still. So some of the quote unquote old generation is still living. Some of the folks who went through the Red Sea are still alive, and they ought to remember that that they went through the Red Sea. Yeah. Now this, this remember. The, the 40 years they spent in the wilderness, all of them over that age of 20 died out. Okay. Well, they must have to grow up 
Yeah, so this right here, and, and knew them were born and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but the, but the 20-year-old and uh, say the, the ones who were, let's say even five to 20, they ought to remember. Because if they were 20, when that happened, they 60 now. And so they ought to remember it. Yeah, they ought to remember that, that the water on the right hand and the water on the left hand, and they on dry land. Now, there were two hands. Uh, who, uh, who, uh, oh, I saw Brother Chris. Oh, yes, ma'am. On the, on the, so it's Joanne? Yeah, what you got? Yeah, see, Deuteronomy is, the, the, the name Deuteronomy means the second giving of the law. That's what the name of, that's what the name of, the second giving of the law. And so, you know, the first law was given to those who died out. But like I say, the ones who were 20 and older, which would make them probably around close to 60 now, and they should have, they should remember going through the Red Sea. They ought to remember coming out of Egypt. They ought to remember how God fed them in the wilderness and how he, you know, all he did for them, rock, water out of rock and bread from heaven and birds flying in and all that kind of stuff. They ought to remember all that stuff. And so what Moses is, is basically doing is saying, y'all act like y'all don't remember what God did for you. That's what he's saying. Now, now Moses 10 years up, like I said, they're getting ready. Uh, you were at the end of Deuteronomy. They were getting ready to go into the promised land. Uh, Joshua has already been, uh, I guess, anointed as the new leader of the people. And uh, he's going to take over and get them on in now. Uh, Moses knew he wasn't going in. Uh, so all this now. So Moses is really, when he called this the song of Moses, this is like his final address. Yeah, you know, he, he giving... He giving final direction to them. Now, he being hard on them because they don't act right. You know, he, 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 he said that uh, they have corrupted themselves. They spotted not the spot of his children. They are perverse and crooked generation. In other words, y'all acting like you don't know who God is. When you talk about when you call somebody perverse, and crooked generation, he's saying, y'all acting like you don't know who God is. Now, if you take this text and move it to the New Testament, that's the same thing Jesus said. Same, the same word. The perverse and crooked generation. That's what Jesus called them. Okay, tell me who they are. Yeah, they the children of Israel. That's right. They 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 act like they don't know who got them where they are. You know, we, we talk about uh, we talk about how they marched out there and their clothes didn't mess up on them and shoes stayed good and all this kind of stuff uh, and. God took care of them, but they act like he did. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Get five. What? Five. Oh. Yeah. But now. Uh, yeah. It, and, and, and really, really, I think that's the wrong word to say forget. Forget is not what we do. We ignore. Yeah, we just ignore the fact. 
Yeah, it, it ain't that we've, we've forgotten who God is. We just ignore the fact. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hear that? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's the thing. Like I say, we 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 tell. I say I, I I hate to use the word forget. It ain't that we forget. It's just that we ignore the fact. Yeah, we act like that. that we don't remember who, because if we forgot, how we know who to call soon we get in trouble? Yeah, yeah. I see. If we had forgotten, yeah, we won't. We wouldn't. How we gonna know who to call when we get in trouble? But we know who to call soon we get in trouble. Yeah, and you know, like we talk about, some folks don't forgot where the church is, but they can remember where it is when they get in trouble. Yeah. They can remember how they remember who the members are. Cause every time I see one, pray for me. Pray for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. And you just ease on through. I think we think that sometimes. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's true. Got to. And like I said, and then, you know, being a Christian, like you just said, does not exempt us from anything. But now these folks, these folks, if you just look at these folks, they didn't really have any trouble at this time. You know, they were, they were, their God had been constantly. Now, you know, they had the snakes to come in, and but then God even put a, a, a remedy for that for them. He said, look up and live. That's all you got to do. Look up, look at the snake up there on the pole and you live. Won't even, that won't even kill you. And, and other than that, you know, they, 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 they didn't lose no, they didn't lose weight because God fed them. They, were, they didn't die of thirst. God got it to the head water. And, you know, the clothes didn't rot. Forty years, they were the same. Clothes didn't rot. Shoes didn't rot. Part of them did now. Part of them did. Remember? Yeah, remember the, 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 it was a certain age group that birds had died in the wilderness because of their disobedience. You know, they're the ones who were at the door of the promised land. They sent the spies over. Spies come back and say, man, they got big grapes, they got big this, but we look like grasshoppers. And we can't do it. And that's when Caleb and, oh, God, what's his name? I forgot the man's name. Huh? Yeah, Joshua and Caleb, thank you. Joshua and Caleb said we can take it. Joshua and Caleb said we can take the land, but they got our voted. Because they sent 12 spies. Ten of them said we can't do it. Two of them said we can. And then they, they, they said, no, we can't do it. And so they didn't trust God. And that's why they had to go do all that circling out there, and they died out. He, he, he let all them folks who wouldn't trust him die out. And then he raised up this new generation. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, well, just disobedience. It wasn't, wasn't about the, his old age. It was his disobedience. 
Yeah, he'll be in disobedience. You know, God took him up, let him see it, but told him he couldn't go there. And so, and Moses knew he wasn't going, so you know, he, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't fuss argue about it. And uh, uh, he had he had served God in doing what he he did what God wanted him to do. The only thing was like that, and uh, uh, he had served God. Now he's given these folks his final instruction before he turned the reins over to another leader. <laughs> But they were a handful now. They were a handful. And, and go back like what Brother Crippen said about it. They could murmur. They could grumble and complain. You know, we can do that. I did it just coming in here. You know, a time didn't have air. I got a man cold in here. They got the air too low. I better be thankful I got some air. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have that. I had a box fan. Yeah, put it in the window. Yeah. Didn't even have a tray fan. They, they tear a cardboard box and pass you a piece of it. Yeah. Oh, here than her? <laughs> But look, you know, we, 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 we got so much now. And 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 because like the more we got, the more we expect. And the more we don't appreciate what we got. That that's the that's a good word for it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, you know, we, we contribute to the next generation's spawn. What now? Anyway, back to the lesson. Yeah. Talking about especially me. I tell you what. Y'all leave me alone. Listen. Back to it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. When 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 he when he gets famous, he gonna say, "I'm gonna buy my docker house." He ain't buying his new new house. He gonna buy his docker house. <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> anyway, Moses. Let me get back to the lesson. Moses was trying to get them to just see. Who God is. He starts, he says in verse 4, He is the rock. His work is perfect. And when you get down here to verse 6, he says, Is not he thy father that had brought thee? He asked him the question. Who, who got you where you are? And that's a question that, that we need to ask. Who, who got us where we are? Now, where we are might not be the best place you think you should be. But who got you here? Yeah, and then when you think about, when these folks think about it, they could have still been in Egypt making brick without straw. Huh? Yeah, they could have still been in Egypt making brick without straw. But here he done brought them up now. They're at the, they at the gate almost of going into this land where they're going to live in houses they didn't build, drink from wells they didn't dig, eat grapes off of vineyards they didn't plant. They had the gate of that. And here they are still acting crazy. A portion of them did, but some of them didn't. Didn't. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think I think you can just look right now. Look right now. First of all, look at us in here. We didn't go through 
what our parents went through before. Yeah, we didn't go through all that. Uh, 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 and so for us, it's not kind of hard to see. Well, you know, we read about it and we hear about it, but we didn't experience it. So it ain't that real to us. It ain't that real to us. Yes, sir. Right. No. That's it. <laughs> get that get it to him. Mm-hmm. Right. And like I say again, and, and, and you know, they got so they got so much access to so much wrong information. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they got so much access to so much wrong information. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, he's still providing for, but they they were they were they were getting ready now. And you don't, you know, when we get, we not gonna. I don't think we're gonna get that in none of our lessons. But they were getting ready now to go into the promised land. You know, when Moses died, they mourned for thirty days, and then Joshua took them into the promised land. But they've done experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, that, I mean, God. You think about it now, God, when God, yeah, <laughs> yeah, mm -mm. yeah, because see, yeah, fight for it, fight for it. Falling, yeah, they like they falling from heaven. Yeah, bread fly out the sky, birds fly low enough where they get reach up and grab them. Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be quiet. Okay, no, don't be quiet. Okay. Is this actually a song that Moses had to write? Yeah. I, I'm going to say yes. Now, even though it, it, a, a, a song to them didn't really mean like we think about a song with words that rhyme and, and music that play. This is really his, it, it really his going through what God had rehearsing to them, I guess I'd say. What God had done so that they would be ready. No, nah, no, nah, the battery, I nah, give it was 60%. They want you to buy something? No, I'll read it sometime. This week. <laughs> But this was really Moses, Moses going back through, like I say, the, the book of Deuteronomy means second giving of the law. And so what Moses is really doing is rehearsing to them all the things that, that God had done to get them to the point that they are now. And it's called a song, but like I say, it's not like a song like we think about a song. Uh, uh, it, it's more of a, him just going through all that God had done for him. To get them where they are now, to remind them, and the, and those that were 
let's say since they were in there 40 years, I know we use that number 40, but you, you have to break it down because they were at the mountain for two years. And anyway, we just going to use 40 because that's what the, it said 40. So that means anybody 40 and below, they didn't experience any of Egypt. They didn't come through the Red Sea. So Moses was rehearsing all of this to them to let them know how they got to where they are now. Now, if you remember the key, the, the, the key verse for this lesson was verse 46. I'm going to run back to it right quick. Because in verse 46, he told them, blah, 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 which ye shall command your children to observe and do. In other words, he says, it's your responsibility to make sure your children know
ain't on the Lord's side, get over there. And the one that got over there, the ground opened up and swallowed them. And, uh, you know, that was, that was just a thing. And then them out there in the wilderness when the snake bit them, they were too selfish to look up, and they just died. They just died. And then, so, again, they provoke God. It, it's like, you know, if you think about it, now, you know, the parents in here can understand that, you know. You, 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 you take your child to the store, and you buy them something, and, Everything good, and they get home, and you tell them to do something, and they ain't, they don't act like they don't want to do. Yeah. And first thing they do is take that time, <laughs> huh? Yeah, you repossession. Yeah, you take back what you got for them. You go act like that, you don't need that. Yeah, put that game up, unplug it, bring it in here. But that's what they did. That's the way they they, they treated God like that. Now, you know, if we don't like to be treated like that, we ought to see that God don't, but yet we treat God like that. And that's the problem that they have, that we treat God like that. No matter, you know, when we look at everything we got, every place, wherever you are on the ladder of life, God got you there. God got you there. You didn't get there. You know, it doesn't you... Nothing you can do to get you where you are right now. God put you there. And, and you ought to appreciate the fact, but sometimes we don't. You know, we look at other folks and they are wrong or too high than us. And then we mad with God because why they get up there? And we don't know what it took, we don't know what they cost they paid to get up there. We don't know. Because don't nobody know really the cost you paid to get where you are. We had to look at the outside, the end result. So these people, they, 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 they really, uh, like I said, they sacrificed these idol gods and things and, and, and made them a god. They did everything they could to provoke God. But you notice in the back of that text, they say God with no other strain God. It was God all by himself that brought them and did it for them. And whenever we can get in our mind that it was just God that got us where we are, and then that means that if we get anywhere else, it's going to just be God, not anything else. And that's the thing that we need to get in our mind that we hadn't got settled. All right, what y'all got for me? I know y'all got something. I guess not. No. <laughs> Yeah. Right. See, a lot of them, like I said, a lot of them didn't know. I'm sure that hopefully the folks have been telling them, but it's a difference, like I say, between hearing about going through the Red Sea and actually being there and looking up on your left side and looking on your right side and seeing that water. Mm -hmm. And 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 he he charged the parents to be sure their children know. Be sure they know how, what they went through to get to where they are. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
Right. Yes. Yeah, you know, a lot of my heart finds. But the thing about it is what 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 Moses is really saying to these folks is don't forget it. Don't forget it. Yeah, don't forget it. Yeah. Mr. I agree. That's all right there. I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's good. That's good. But like I said, again, it, 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 it's still... It's still our responsibility, even not let's say maybe not even even in this church setting. You know, we got a lot of young people go to church here. That's here at church. And then, you know, you run into them all the time to 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 let them know. Because, you know, again, like uh, in Carl's book and in that book about 1690, all of them say that, you know, a person that's ignorant of their history is destined to repeat it. And that's the thing, you know, if you don't know where God brought you, you're going to end up back there again. And a lot of our lives is like that, that we, we, are, we, we know where God brought us, but then we uh, do like these folks here, start acting crazy, and he had to take us back through that one more time to remind us, look now, you ain't get here by yourself. That's right. And, and so Moses was trying to, like I said, Moses was really giving his final instruction to this group so that they would be better prepared to enter into the promised land. That, that, that you know, the promised land had been promised to him. It was a gift from God. But like I say, like I think Brother Chris said, like, oh, it wasn't something he was just going to hand to him. They were going to have to go in there and show that they wanted it. And that would mean they were going to have to go in there and fight. They were going to have to be, follow his. Now, as long as they follow God's instruction, they were going to win every battle. And we saw that at Jericho. The, Jericho was the most uh, fortified city in the promised land. And they took it in a strange way with them walking around that wall and all that stuff them seven days and the seven days, seven times, and the wall fell, and they took the city, following God's instruction. But the next city, Ai, was a little old bitty place, and they said, oh. They, 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 they actually told God, it's it like they told God, you, you can take this one out, you can rest this one. We'll go get this one ourselves. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Went down there. I think it was like 20,000 men got killed. They went down there because they, they, like they told God, we got this. Yeah, we got this. You ain't got to worry about this one. See what happened? They had that great victory, and they, they act like it was because of their strength. And they didn't, they didn't give God the glory that it was his strength. And then they didn't do what God told them. Everything in this city come to me. And then the rest of the stuff, y'all can have it. Now, what did Aiken do? He stole them stuff and put it in a tent. Huh? <laughs> yeah, all we're going to be Aiken. 
He stole some stuff and put it in his tent. He said, I just can't give all this stuff to God treasure. I want some of it. And that's why they went down to AI and got drove. Got drove. That's on down. That's that's on over in the scripture. That where where he backed the he backed the sun up fifteen degrees or fifteen minutes. What it mean? He backed up fifteen minutes so that they could have time to win the battle. Huh? Yeah, fifteen minutes. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, because they, they went side. That's what side said. They can account for every minute in the universe but 15. They cannot account for 15. Now, how they figure that, I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> huh? Yeah. They're ready. Okay, yeah. Because I don't know how they figure that, but they can they can account for all of it but that. All the time. So I'm gonna deal with that Hubble the Hubble telescope looking out and this looking back and all that. And you know, that's too high for me. That's too high for me. I just believe the Bible said he backed it up fifteen degrees. That's good enough, right there. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Yeah, so they could win the battle. Now, now when they when they when they went through the 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 promised land, and after the battle at uh, Jericho, and then after they finally took AI, they went on a lot of them other places. They gave up. They said, "Oh no, we ain't nothing we can do." <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, they just gave up. They just gave up. And that's when, again, they got disobedient. Because God told them to kill everything. And they got to look at they say all these the cattle and good looking women and all that. We ain't killing all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, they say we. We ain't killing all this. See, because if they had to kill them all, they wouldn't have had all that trouble in the future that they had with them folks. That's why right. they were looking at them folks. You know, they, they let, let some of them run off to the edges. And they set up their little kingdoms out there, and then they said, that's why they got the idea about having a king from them other folks, what they should have killed. That's where they got that idea from. Yeah, kill him. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't kill them all. Yeah, they don't let them live. And like I said, but, but God told them to wipe them out because God knew that if they left them now, they were going to influence them. And that's what they did. They started looking at their gods that they were serving. That's how all that stuff got in in Israel. Well, if they had a, if they had, a, had done like God told them, it would they wouldn't have had that problem, cause it wouldn't be none of that left for them. Yeah, well, it, it's like, like talking about how like how we let the world kind of creep into the church. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, it one while there, uh, churches having raffles and raffling off guns and cars and everything, you know, all that kind of stuff. Because they see that's the world, that's the way, man, you can make some money like that. So here they go. All right, what else we got? We about ready to go. What else we got? I appreciate y'all being here tonight. Thank you. It started out a little scary. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, who teaching son? Sister Joe teaching son. All right, Sister Joe, you got any questions? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be looking forward to you on Sunday. Amen. Amen. Our other teachers that were in here, we know y'all going to have a good time. I know, uh, uh, like I said, I think the youth lesson is the same. Expressing thankfulness to children. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Amen. Uh, I'm trying to see if all the verses are the same. Children verses are a little different. Yeah, they, they come out of Deuteronomy 31. Verse 30, 30. Verse 30. And then 32, 1 through 9. The children verses. And they key verses 32 and 3. All right. So they're a little different from our Just a little different. But it's all about being thankful for what God has done. And... Yes, ma'am. You can. I should. That's all right. Fine. Well, now, the Bible speaks of that. The Bible speaks of that, that, that you can do wrong so long until you call it it's seared. And that means, seared means like you, you burn, you know, if you get a bad burn, it don't have any feeling in it. It's a dead spot. Now, if your conscience is seared and don't nothing bother you, do she claim to be a Christian? <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> because it don't bother to do wrong well I can now then she not call because a Christian I, I don't care how a, a Christian it's going to bother you to do wrong I mean it, it's going to bother you because that it, 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 what, what she really said is that and, and, and take it for what it's worth she said that she don't have a Holy Spirit in her if the Holy Spirit ain't in you, you're not saved. Because, see, the Holy Spirit is that thing that's in us that let us know when we're doing wrong. You know, that's why when you were out there in the world, before you had the Holy Spirit, you had to do what you wanted to do and went to sleep and got up the next morning. It didn't worry about it. Yeah, ain't much you can do. God God going to have to work on that. But it talks about the Bible says the conscience of sin, and that's what it means that you 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 don't have any any feeling for right or wrong. And that's a bad place to be. Bad place to be. Amen. Any other questions? Down to Jordan. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? All right, again, we thank you. Uh but Saturday is supposed to be cleanup day, right? And then Saturday is Sandra's youth director's meeting. So I want to do that. I don't, I don't know what time I get back here Saturday, but I'm going to try to get back before y'all get through. I'm going to be a little rock, but I'll get back as quick as possible. Might come back Friday night, just depending on if Marianne can drive. Um, no. <laughs> well, we back Saturday. <laughs> No, uh, I don't know. We'll be back quick as can. And then uh, uh, Cynthia's brother filmed at 2.30 or 2? 2. 2.30. Is it 2.30 Saturday at Bethlehem? So that film is at 2.30 Saturday at Bethlehem. And I uh, want to pray for that family. And then where, where did Mr. Buck film? Saturday at 11. Saturday at 11. That's in Hope, though. And we pray for that family. So since I know both of them, amen. Anything else? Anything else? Again, we appreciate all of you tonight. God bless you. Hope you have a good rest of the week. I look forward to seeing you back at Mount Zion. 
Let's have a closing prayer. Father, we thank you now for your word. We thank you for this lesson. Help us to learn to not be ungrateful for all that you have done for us. Help us to remember where you brought us from and most of all where you're going to take us to. We give you the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Woo. It's cold in here. He's right. <laughs>